Okay, we found out that the virus was going to shut things down in early March, and on social media, we just, I saw that there were a lot of people who were making masks, and they were talking about masks, and what were we going to do, and it became clear that many women I know were sewing and making masks for their friends and family, and we thought about, a small group of us got together, on, online and said maybe we could do something to help produce masks and, and for the town to prevent spread. And we came up with a group that started with about 25 people. We're up to about 55 now. And we're making masks that we can share with people here in the community and they don't cost anything. And we've um, now got them in sizes for little kids and bigger kids, and we have ones for people who wear hearing aids, where the mask elastic goes all the way around the back of your head and the back of your neck, and those have been popular with a number of people. We started off with a lot of quilters, and quilters have stashes of fabric. They always have a closet with fabric, and people were donating fabric, and we discovered that, you know, we had lots and lots of fabric, and we needed to get the elastic and the, the notions, the thread, the sewing machine needles, and so we started um, reaching out to people with on Facebook saying could you donate fabric and could you donate um, some thread or something and as time went on we developed a distanced assembly line so that people there's people who go out and pick up the fabric and then they take it to another person's house and she washes it and it's it's quarantined at all stages of the process and it goes to cutters and then it goes to stitchers because the stitchers are people who tend to be older because we learned when we were younger and so the it came together and we we reached out and then we figured out that we needed some money for this so we started a GoFundMe page we have a website we have an email address so that for, especially for people who don't have access to these things we wanted to be able to let people know you can if you have a friend let them know that we have masks for people with hearing aids let them know that we have kids masks let them know that they can get a mask here and they can either go online to our website and request it and pick it up on near here um, or they can, we can deliver. We have runners who can take things to people's homes. The response has been wonderful. Uh, the response has been great from people. They're thankful to have something that, you know, th that, that they can use over and over again because th this can be washed and used many times. It's also been particularly special for me because I've gotten to know women I never would have had a chance to get to know. And the women have all expressed the feeling they need to do something because they don't know what to do. And it's, it's built a wonderful community, uh, a circle of women who are working together. And, um, and I think I can call them friends now because of this.